I'm surprised often by how lacking in shame and pride this man is. But then I so first I think to myself, he lives in LA. I have to always be aware of it because I don't live there. I've been there once, but I would assume there's something about living in that place that you don't really think clearly. Your brain kind of lives in this other sort of world. So after what Brendan went through with fucking, what you call it? Um, with, What's that guy called? With Logan Paul and shit, especially with the podcast. And then what happened recently with Br Logan essentially ripping Brendan a new one on social media because of his defense of Dylan Dennis thing with um, the trolling of his soon-to-be wife, Nina and shit. It would be fair to say that Brendan and Logan aren't on the best of terms, right? You'd assume so because of what they went through publicly. Like, Logan kind of read him a bit, right? He kind of went in, tore into him, basically called him an idiot. But then Brendan decides to dress up as Halloween as a couple of bottles of Prime. Now, again, it could be just for his kids. His kids could want to do it. Fair enough. If your kids want to do something, you have to acquiesce. But again, you're dressing up as bottles of Prime for Halloween and then you're tagging Logan in the pictures. Are you not ashamed of yourself? Are you not embarrassed? This is really embarrassing. I don't even I didn't even know that was a thing, to be fair. Until I seen how clout heavy and you know attention seeking Brendan is. I didn't even know people actually did this on Inst on fucking Twitter. I know it's a thing on Instagram, but I didn't even know people go out their way to tag people and to tag the fucking people in the pictures, you know, underneath here officially. That is so embarrassing, bro. Honestly. There's nothing more embarrassing than this because you think to yourself, like again, considering what he's gone through with Logan that embarrassing podcast where Logan really, I think, was kind of unnecessarily mean to him. Um, the whole I'm going to dinner thing halfway through the pod, making him look really silly on there. You know, like these mid-20 millionaire guys dancing around this old, this like mid early 40s dude. And then the back and forth they did on Twitter recently with the whole Dylan Dennis thing. To dress up as a prime bottle is kind of embarrassing. Unless they made up behind the scenes. But again, I haven't seen Logan retweet it or repost it. He didn't leave any comment underneath the picture. He didn't probably like the picture itself. So Brenda's just out here just clout chasing Logan Paul, trying to just really be his friend, when clearly the guy doesn't give a fuck about him. It's kind of sad. Like, what are you doing, bro? Surely there's no amount of fame in the world. And again, maybe I've done... I'm not the best person to talk about it because I don't really have famous friends and I don't live over there, so it's probably different. But it's really odd how fame can change people's behaviours around other people because sometimes I think to myself, like, if you've been disrespected the way Brendan has been disrespected by Logan, surely it has to come a point where you just, you draw a line in it and just think, you know what? Let bygones be bygones. There's no ill will, but we're obviously not as cool as I thought we were. So there's no need to do all this sort of stuff. Like, this is kind of gross. Like, it's a bit like, what are you doing? You know, really, what are you doing? Brendan wants to be Logan Paul's friend really badly. And let's see how that kind of rolls out for him. What are you guys saying here in the chat? Um, Secondhand embarrassment. This is a new Logan for Shorb. He got wrecked in that podcast. CTE is a real. Shorb is redacted exactly. Um, At, le at least his costumes with cushions. He <laughs> at least his costume with cushions, his knees, so he can give Logan that Glock. Exactly. 